Okay, pre-start every morning, check the blade, open your blade cover, check if blade needs changing, two spanners 30mm, one into the spanner flat and the other on the blade, simply undo. Take the old blade off and just reverse when you need to put a new one on. Make sure that the lining pin is in place and the blade slides on freely. Relock. Again, spin a flat, opposite side. And tension. cover. Before we start cutting core, we're checking that our safety switch is working. We first turn the machine on and we lift our safety switch lever up and make sure that it is working. As you can see, the, light, the reset light is flashing once your switch is activated. If you lower your switch, it stops flashing. The only other reason why your reset would be flashing is if your emergency stop is in and that will isolate your power. We have two types of core guides available. There's a B core guide. This will take core anywhere from BQ to PQ size. We usually use that for core that's not fractured, solid pieces. Or we have available with lids for fractured material, NQ, PQ, HQ, BQ core guides. Okay, so we're ready to cut. We start our saw. Forward mode. And we feed our core guides anywhere along the chain. As they slot in, you can put a core guide up against each other. And as you can see, it automatically feeds through the saw go through the saw As you can see, the LCD screen will display the amperage draw on your blade motor and the amperage draw on your feed motor. What we want to do is try and keep the blade drive between 9 and 11 amps. That would be optimum cutting speed. If it's well above the 11 amps, we need to slow the saw down. If it's below, you can actually speed your saw up. As you can see, once the forward mode's activated, the smaller motor shows the amperage draw. In order to change your feed speed, you simply press on the white screen. A percentage will come up. The saw is currently set at 50% speed. If you press on the percentage, you can slow your saws down as low as 5% or as high as 99%. Let's go 10%, enter, this will be the new speed of your chain. If you want to go higher, as high as it will go, 99%, enter. This is the new speed of your saw.
The saw will still automatically compensate for hardness of core, but it gives you a bigger range. Uh, the water recycling tank is optional uh, for purchasing with saws. As you can see, it holds about 200 litres. There's a 200, 240 volt pump, uh, submersible, which has a cutoff switch, float switch. Uh, most of your bigger material will be caught in this grate, and the cleaner water should go to the last compartment.